Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So the AI hype cycle is starting to implode, it's starting to crash. When it comes to coding, there's a bunch of studies that have come out recently that, that have been brought to my attention that show that AI's, uh, AI's hype was exactly that. It was hype. As I suggested two years ago when this whole thing started in 2022 with ChatGPT. Basically, what they found is that AI, in terms of developers, it makes them 25% more efficient, but other studies have shown that they introduce 40% more bugs. So essentially, AI is making you quicker, but it's making you quicker as you throw out very buggy code and insecure code. They found that junior developers got productivity boost, but again, what they produce was crap. Advanced developers, not so much. Um, this is what the study shows. I've anecdotally spoken to some um, friends of mine who code every day quite a bit. They found it to help a lot with boilerplate code and so on. Um, essentially, it's been overhyped. You got to understand, I've seen hype cycles in technologies before. When a new technology hits the scene, the people behind the technologies who profit from the technologies and start going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And they start making these massive claims because if they said it's going to make you 10% more efficient, you're probably going to go, oh, it's boring. So they have to make these huge claims to, you know, catch your attention. So when everybody was talking about the doom and the gloom of pro programming and software development, when AI hit the scene big time two years ago, I said, no, no. I still say use the AI, don't get me wrong. I think there's some uh, value to it. But generally speaking, um, it's just going to help you with some boilerplate stuff. It's going to help you with some, you know, doing some very finite types of things like writing advanced SQL queries, like inner joins and outer joins, that kind of stuff. But you still, you still need to know what you're doing because you have to verify what it is that the AI is spitting out. Remember, AI, the intelligence in artificial, you, know, you got artificial intelligence, the I, the intelligence in artificial intelligence, that's a marketing term. AI, in fact, as it is today in 2024, November, is not at all intelligent. It has no capacity for logic. It's just making a bunch of associations and running probability algorithms to assess what the next thing is. Don't be fooled by the hype. Now, that being said, AI does have its use cases, and there's, I think there's going to be opportunity, and there is growing opportunity to implement AI. But I think that as it stands now, it is not this massive, earth-shattering thing. There's a lot of exaggerations out there. People do things. They make huge, bold statements with no consequence uh, to them just so they can attract attention. Remember that. If you have good lizard brain training, this is obvious to you. Obvious to you. Anybody who's done my lizard wizard course knows and understands these mechanisms, how they operate. So hype cycles are normal. I've seen it many times over three decades. I've been in the software game. Uh, AI, again, I said it two years ago, and I'll say it again today, and I reiterate for people who are worried. AI has not been the biggest technology influence I've seen in the tech space. That's a bad way of putting it. Let me put it in another way. I have seen several other technologies which were far more impactful, far more important to software development than AI has been thus far, and we're two years into this thing. And you know what? And Sam Altman, the guy who, uh, I think it's Altman, the guy who, the, you know, the co-founder of GPT, OpenAI, he said it himself. He said shortly after uh, GPT was released, he said, yeah, we're not going to see major changes to AI for a while. And guess what? Two years later, we've only seen very marginal, incremental uh, improvements to AI. If you've seen anything at all, I don't know. I haven't seen a great improvement. A lot of hype, a lot of hype out there. Again, something I talked about two years ago. So, yeah, if you're worried about AI, don't be A. Number two, I think there's opportunity in AI. There is a hype cycle, and there is application. And that will probably open up new uh, job opportunities 
for developers. But you know, but if you're doing branding sites, e-commerce sites, uh, a business, a lot of business apps, AI is going to have no impact on that. Go ahead, go use an AI uh, a web app generator and see what the mess that you get. You're not going to be able to do anything with it unless you know what you're doing. Where AI comes in again, let me emphasize where AI, and I'm not saying don't use AI. Use AI, but you got to you got to use it with an edu an educated hand. An educated nerd has to use AI. Those are the ones who get to get uh, some use out of it, perhaps. But boilerplate code. You still have to check see what's going on. There is a phenomenon in AI called AI hallucination. It can basically it makes these weird mistakes that humans wouldn't make because humans have logic. AI has no logic. It makes mistakes with the silliest things, the silliest, stupidest little things. I've seen it happen several times. You look at it and you go, eh, that's not good. AI does have its use, but very finite things. So I could see AI in, codings, in the coding world good for like writing complex SQL queries, that kind of stuff. Helping you figure, helping helping you to figure that out, perhaps. But again, you have to check and verify everything. So for very small, finite chunks of code, I really see AI coming into play there. Anyway, that's it. I'm Uncle Steph. If you really want to understand how AI works and how our brains perceive the world, you should check out my Lizard Wizard course. If you want full mentoring from me. You can join my mentoring group, teach everybody from total beginners to people with 15 years experience in development. Whether you want to be freelancer, get a job, start a SaaS business, everything I teach, everything I discuss, everything I talk about is from personal experience. No theoretical, no theoretical uh, discussions with me. If I do get into some theoretical stuff that I haven't had uh, hands-on experience, I will be very clear and plain about that. So yeah, that's it. AI hype cycle is beginning to fade. Yeah.